Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I went from a pretty terrible Google PageSpeed Insight score of a 41 to a perfect score of 100 with just one plugin. And I did this by slimming down my website's homepage from making 33 requests totaling 1.8 megabytes to just 17 requests with a total page size of 288 kilobytes. That's 48% less requests and 84% reduction in total page size. And this is all possible with the Perf Matters WordPress plugin, which in this video, I'll walk you through the settings that I use to achieve this and show you how you can do the same on your website. Let's have a look. For those of you who are not familiar with Perf Matters, a core component of this WordPress plugin is removing the unused or unnecessary resources from a web page, essentially cutting the fat. And this is super important because every single kilobyte matters for page speed. Now, you know, one of the primary goals of having a fast website is reducing the size of your web page. And Perf Matters does a really good job at doing this as you're about to find out. So let's go ahead and look at some of the settings that I use here. I'm gonna be working with my website, WordPress website, tonyteaches.tech. And um, just so there's no magic or hand waving going on, we're gonna get some benchmark numbers in real time here. So let me just minimize this and we will analyze uh, my page speed using Google, the Google page speed insights tool here. And we're going to see what we got before on the left hand side. And then when we make the changes for the settings, we'll see what we get after on the right side. So even worse than the introduction, these numbers do tend to fluctuate. So we got a 34 out of a hundred here, lots of improvements and uh, proof metals will take care of most, if not all of those improvements. And then I do also want to show you the Chrome dev tools. So we will load the page here. We're looking at the network tab here. So we have 33 requests, totaling 1.8 megabytes in resources. Okay, so we'll leave those pages up until we are done changing those settings. And that's what we're gonna do now. So let's go into the WordPress admin dashboard. And I actually had the Perf Matters plugin installed this whole time. I just deactivated it to you know, make all those settings null and void. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that again and I'll empty the page cache just so uh, we're working on a level playing field here. And then go into the Perf Matters plugin, look at some of these settings. So these settings are uh, already applied. Uh, by default, all of these options on the home, home settings page are off by default, uh, but I enable most of these um, except for disabling comments. So let's just really briefly go through these. A lot of these are just disabling features that you may or may not be using. So you just gotta be careful when you are turning off some of these features that you don't actually need them. And I think Perf Matters does a really good job of explaining what exactly each one of these toggles does. Like for example, uh, disabling emojis. If you need to get more information about that, you can click on this question mark. It'll open up on the Perf Matters website and show you what's actually going on behind the scenes. So there's a little bit of upfront work here, um, just so you don't blindly go through here and turn off things that you, may, you might need. But for the most part, uh, a lot of people don't use a lot of these features. So I got most of those checked here on the first page, except for comments. If you don't want comments, then you can easily disable comments here too. Now, um, as far as the other tabs here, under the options section, lazy loading is another feature that I take advantage of with Perf Matters. So lazy loading, if you're not familiar, is essentially only loading images that are within the, the window of your user or images that are just outside of the window of the user. So that way when they're scrolling, you can load those images um, as that that they're coming into the view of the window. So the reason we wanna do that is so that when you first request the page, the user doesn't have to wait for, if you have like a lot of images, like a dozen images on your page, the user doesn't have to wait for all of them to load before being able to use the page. So that's lazy loading in a nutshell. Got nothing going on with WooCommerce here. If you have a CDN, you can enable that um, through here. I don't have a CDN, so I don't have any integrations here. Google Analytics, you have the option of hosting Google Analytics locally. So uh, when you host Google Analytics by adding some code into your header as a typical use case, that will require at least 
a couple extra requests, but by having analytics, the JavaScript code hosted on your website, that'll eliminate um, all of those extra requests and it could be potentially a time-saving factor. So that's something else you can look into here. And then let's see what else we got here, extras. That's right, so under extras, one of my favorite parts of Perf Matters, and this is one of the reasons why um, there's such a huge difference in PageSpeed Insight Score from before and after, is the script manager, okay? And that's, that's I think, the last thing that we will look at here as far as the Perf Matter setting. So once you enable the script manager and you go to your website, you'll see that you have in your admin dashboard the script manager option up here. And if for some reason you don't see the admin dashboard, um, you can always just go to question mark perf matters and then that'll open up the script manager. So what I'm gonna do is, um, oops, I'm gonna go back to uh, my home page and click on my contact page. And I have a contact form plugin, it's called contact form seven. And by default, the resources for this page uh, are loaded on every single page of my website, which kind of sounds weird because the only time you need stuff for the contact form is on the contact page. So script, if, and if this doesn't make sense, well, it'll make sense in just a second. Um, with the script manager, okay, you can individually disable scripts, with, whether that's JavaScript or style sheets, on a page by page basis or on a post uh, grouping of posts or grouping of pages. Let me show you what I mean. So with the, we're at the contact page and we're looking at the script manager here and I want, by default, all of these are on, okay? By default, the, the contact form seven plugin is on, but by switching this off, I can disable it everywhere except for the contact page. So what that's gonna do is not load this JavaScript file, this JavaScript file, and this CSS file anywhere else on the website except for the contact page. So right there, that's a savings of 13, uh, about 15 kilobytes. So um, because, you know, we don't need those resources on another page. Same thing with this syntax highlighter plugin. If I would keep that on, that would be 125, 130 kilobytes being loaded on every single page where I don't need those resources. By turning it off and everywhere except for posts, which is where I'm only gonna show the syntax highlighting, I'm gonna save myself all that space. So all of those, uh, all that transfer data being sent across the network. So what I did was I went through here and figured out which resources I need where and disable the ones where I didn't need them. And by doing that, I'm essentially able to reduce the, spe the size of my web page, as you saw, from 1.8 megabytes to just 300 kilobytes or some really, really small number like that. Um, because honestly, on the home page, it's just a link to other pages of my website. So that's um, that's the script manager in a nutshell. There is, again, a little bit of upfront work here to figure out what you can and cannot turn off without breaking your website. But once you get it to a good point, then you can, um, you can run these tests like I did and see what kind of improvements you get. So we got Perf Matters turned on. We went through the script uh, manager settings. And I think that's all I wanna do. So let's go ahead and run our tests again. So we'll minimize this and we can go to analyze for PageSpeed Insights. So just a reminder, we got a 34 before here. Now that we have Perf Matters installed and activated, let's see where our PageSpeed Insights score is. We got that perfect 100. Um, let's see if we have any suggestions. Nothing to suggest down here. So that's a huge difference from 34 before where we had a lot of things to fix down here. And then let's show you um, the Chrome DevTools. So before we're looking at 33 requests with 1.8 megabytes in resources. Now we're down to just those 17 requests in 288 kilobytes of resources. And you can see the difference here, right? We were on the homepage, we were loading a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't need, like the, I'm not sure, what, uh, there we go. So we were loading, uh, the reCAPTCHA down here, the reCAPTCHA plugin, which we're not using, there's no user input on this page. We are loading the syntax highlighting plugin, which is one of these 
uh, CSS JavaScript files in here. We disabled emojis, so those aren't being loaded on the home page anymore. And we got down to just this list of 17 requests, and that is uh, phenomenal in my opinion, and just 288 kilobytes of resources. So um, I hope this was a valuable demonstration for you guys as far as Perf Matters is concerned. I, I know, I, I'm confident that it will be able to make your website faster by uh, reducing the number of dependencies, requests, and resources potentially that you're not even needing on your pages. So definitely recommend checking it out. I have a link down below for that and uh, a certain percentage off if you use my promo code. So guys, check that out. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Check out some of my other videos for how to achieve a 100 page speed insight score. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.